Welcome. This video is about my original desktop which I had built quite a few years ago. It's you know it's showing signs it needs to be replaced. So I was looking at possibly maybe getting a pre-built gaming computer that will handle video editing capabilities because I just don't have time to research, find parts, and you know, build a computer. So let's check out if any of these pre-built com gaming computers will fit my needs, not only for video editing, but for web development work. So there's quite a few websites that looked at Cyber, Cyber Power PC, I Buy Power, PC now I'm looking at Alienware and there are quite a few more as we take a look I need a desktop because of ergonomic reasons I have a uh, laptops gives me a very sore neck because of the positioning of looking down desktop I can raise the monitor high with my hands lower on, on the keyboard and this is Cybertronic PC website not only that desktops run much cooler and quieter because of the better cooling system when I do video intense editing and rendering as compared to laptop which I have but I as I mentioned before I prefer using the desktop and this is NZ XT website as I did my research and in a few moments I show you what I picked up and let's see if it works out and here's the pre-built gaming computer I picked up from Best Buy it's the iPower computer system. It's not the top of the line. It's just above the middle. It's powered by the Coffee Lake i7 processor. And I think this might work out. So let's give it a try. So let's open this box and see what we have. There's a quick starter guide at the very top. There's a basic gaming keyboard I don't know how good this is I see a mouse at the bottom anyway the tower looks like it's well packed and secure alright I took off the side cover and let's take a look inside this tower there's your video card with the two fans it's a RTX 2070 CPU cooler fan on your left is your exhaust fan and at the top you can see huge vents to also help the hot air out on your right is the intake fan with imports input vents on both sides and a huge opening in the bottom of the case there's a RAM four slots for the RAM which can be upgraded the cables look Cable management looks fairly good on this computer. Okay, and there's your motherboard. This is not a good mother. It's a basic motherboard. Motherboard, so you got what you got. There's the one terabyte SSD card drive with a space for another SSD drive that if you want and underneath is the I believe 600 or 650 watt power supply here's a quick overview of the RGB lighting that's available as I change the colors for those who like to have this normally I myself don't use the RGB lighting I just prefer the computer to be dark because it's a distraction to me so I just keep it dark 
Here's a red color scheme. And this is how the RGB lighting looks on the front of the tower. Like I said, I don't use the lighting, so it's neat, something you might prefer. Now let's try and test how smoothly and how fast we can render a HD video. I'm using DaVinci Resolve 16. Let's try test by scrubbing this video. It does a very smooth job with no stuttering, which is great for editing the video where you can stop pinpoint exactly where you want to. Okay, now let's render this video and see how fast it will take to output MP4 video. Test speed, title, let's see, MP4, and full HD quality video. Let's enter that to this quill. Start rendering. Now I'm going to open up NZXT monitor, which checks our CPU and GPU temperature and load load. Okay, I'm going to pause the video right now. Now that the rendering process has been completed, let's see, it took 1 minute and 53 seconds to render a full HD quality 15 minute video which is not bad uh, let's take a look at this video that was just processed there it is okay now maybe later on I'll test some 4k footage and see how it renders I don't do too much 4K, usually short versions, one minute or less, but we shall see what comes out later. The earlier versions of this package or setup contained a RGB remote control to control your RGB colors. On this newer version, uh, there's a app on your desktop that was installed so you use this app to change the colors as you can see and various controls you can change the style static breathing change the speed you know strobe cycling whatever is your thing like I said, I don't use it. I usually turn it off. But if you want it, you can quickly turn it back on. So that's how you control and adjust the colors of your RGB on the desktop tower. So many options for usually gamers like to do this. So in conclusion, I just have to give this computer a break-in time and see how it works uh, two weeks from now. In the meantime, we will build another computer, possibly. I may, since I have a computer I can use, I may build another computer, maybe using the AMD Ryzen 7 CPU chip. But only time will tell and thank you for watching and hope this video has helped you decide on what PC pre-built gaming computer you can use.